Hello, it's Alan Sean here um, from the Fan Pub. We um, we just wanted to make this video. Um, we've got some big, exciting changes coming up this year. Um, we are rebranding. Uh, one of the things that a lot of you have said to us is um, that you need a more um, fantasy football related name. Um, so we've listened and uh, we've we've gone away and had a really good think uh, about what we're going to do as a podcast haven't we and what what name did we decide on fantasy legion is the one we've decided on for a lot of reasons we think that that will resonate very well with the people out there we've come up with a logo which you'll see as you look at the video for the first time and uh we are rebranding everything that we do associated with this video and there are a number of reasons why don't get us wrong we're still associated with the fan pub yeah. site uh, which is where we've met a lot of our good friends from. We still hang around big time in the fantasy, uh, the and, fan pub Discord. Channel. And that is what we're going to continue to do. Uh, but we needed a way to resonate with a bigger audience. We've grown uh, 10 times from the previous year at the start of last year. Uh, we're not kind of expecting that kind of growth this year, but we do believe our channel will explode because we're going to be much more, it'd be easier for people to find us. And I think that's one of the, the goals. People have said they like generally like the content on the whole they like the bold approach that we have and perhaps we are a little different than other podcasts and that's okay um, but we need to reach a bigger audience we can't do that without help and so this is the right time to rebrand and on the back of that we of some of the exciting news that we've got it'd be the first year that we ever launch a draft guide yeah i mean we want to start by saying a big thank you to everybody who's you know helped us grow we've gone from like a hundred to over a thousand subscribers now in one year and you know we're really appreciative of that um we hung out with a few of you in in uh, live videos and uh, you just don't realize who's watching and where you're from it's nice to know you know chat football it's uh, really good fun for me and sean to do that we chat football all day uh, we know a lot of you like doing it as well um we've actually spent the whole morning uh, we're mid-afternoon here um watching um college tape for, yeah. for rookies yeah. this year yeah and that'll be the first part of our draft guide um um, I think we've looked at about 50 players um, together. I've been following them for a few years personally, and, and I know Al's done a lot of study outside of today, but it, today was the first time we've come together collectively and put our ideas together, and, and I think we're now ready to start sharing that. That will be, as Al says, the first part of the draft guide. will always be about the rookies, but naturally rookies lead into Dynasty, which then ultimately leads into redraft in whatever format you're in. Um, I think we've identified some potentially... I mean, we don't know landing spots yet. Obviously, that makes a difference. But some potentially rookie, uh, big rookie sleepers that could go under the radar, and if they sort of land in an okay spot where it, you know, fits their skill set, they they could be potentially very good. Uh, we also think we've identified some busts in that are very high up currently. Yeah, very the, much so. Yeah, but we do so. not like it all. I mean, some well, we're going to do. Them are very high. We're going to do what we always do, and when we start to put videos together, as we will do moving forward, it will start slowly. You may only see a video a week at the moment, and that's understandable because we're still technically in yeah, off season. Yeah, I, I mean, it is a seasonal um, game, isn't it? Fantasy. But football. we are going to start by looking at what we always do, looking back over what we did well last year, what we didn't do so well evaluating that process as always and then coming back stronger each year which is the goal and uh, on the positive side once again as you look back I think those that have been close to the channel will know we've 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 hit some home runs we've missed on a few and that is okay and um, yeah more on that as we talk about those videos I I mean I, those of you who know me and probably a few of you don't or that have watched me I always look for uh, value like I do in betting I'm a professional gambler this is my approach to uh, drafting. Yeah. Um, you've got to avoid mistakes early on, um, but you've also got to pick up with those those value guys um, later in the draft that are going to really give you that chance to, uh, you know, make a make a title bid. Um, and I think that's somewhere we work well. You've got to like a sixth sense of you're a bit freaky sometimes, and I think yeah, we, people have seen that. Yeah, we try we try very hard to get these things right for you. We, we are very bold. You'll notice last year if you look back over. I was doing that the other day actually, very proudly actually looking back over at ADP top thirty two players before the season had hit. Uh, that's gold dust. If you look at that thirty two, how we've dissected those thirty two players, what we thought about them. Yeah, there's a few misses on there, but there are some that you can understand. This was shot before the season started, so we'd have had even more data if we'd have gone the day before the draft. We'd have known a couple of players were already out. Antonio Brown being an example. But if you look at the overall stuff on there, it's absolutely fantastic. Identifying James Conner as a bust. I talked about Odell Beckham. I wasn't happy with him at this stage. It was the diva had crept in, and I wasn't I wasn't going to touch him. There's a lot in there. Uh, we talked about Aaron Jones being a success story, uh, Dalvin Cook being a high success story. All of those were in the bold prediction. So a lot to like about that. Plus, we can go 
you know, we, we don't just tend to name hundreds of players here. We tend to focus on, we're very clear on the ones we like, the ones we don't like. And if yeah. we disagree, then we'll have that debate. And that's good. That's what you like. Um, Al's already mentioned the draft guide is one of the new things for this year. We're probably going to do a listeners league. I suspect is going to creep in and have something special for the people who have done that, particularly those that are loyal followers. We need to do something for you. Um, and for those of you that are in America, this is our first attempt at a draft guide. So we're going to keep the price as low as possible. We're going to do some very unique things on this podcast. And one of them is going to definitely break new ground. More on that later. Uh, but this is going to be around what I call looking at other things to improve us. And so you'll see a lot that's going to happen. And I'm personally very, very excited about where we're going to go in a year or two with this podcast. And because of that, our team has actually grown. So although we're at the front of the camera, we have two other members of the team now, uh, Mark and Dan. Yeah, due to growth. I mean, I think when we're talking about, you know, opinions on players, like I say, we we won't just sit there and say we got it right 100%. Nobody does. And there are people that still say they, they got it right when they haven't. Um We'll be the first to I hold mean, our there, hands There's up a really like big, big guy that works for ESPN, not Matthew Berry, but he said, we've had another successful year, we smashed out of the park. He looked at his advice, and his first one was Lamar Jackson bust. I mean, already that's a fail for me. Yeah. Um, you know, and you, you just you just say at the end of the year, you've had a great year. The other day was, was really good for us, because for the first time ever, I went back over. I mean, this is the, the thing I always put together every year. Um, this particular thing is just my own personal notes every single season about what I'm going to do. And I won't go into the details here. I put one out on... Um, on Discord, on Twitter and Discord, and this was just my own personal notes on these players. This is round one. You can go deeper. I'll just pick a page out. It doesn't really matter which one. We'll just take a player just for interest and in what it looks like. Um, so you can see all sorts of notes on the different players and what they mean. Um, and the and reason you do it by round, don't you? yeah, do it by round. And why this was important is because um, I didn't know this at the time, but when I put this out on Twitter the other day, a data analyst from the NFL.com site uh, started following me, and that told me a lot about that's the first time i've ever had anybody from an industry kind of perspective on my twitter i mean i'm relatively new to twitter as i'll tell you not the best technical person in the world but i'm starting to build up what we need to do and part of that is spreading our wings out into these different platforms and for somebody who's an analyst to start looking at what you're doing told me a lot and i thought oh now that's good and then i i'm going to be talking about some stuff that particularly in the draft guide Al's touched on some stuff last year that was fantastic you'll definitely see that in there in regards to when he looked at strength of schedule we've we've taken on board a lot of things that we're going to talk about lessons learned from last year and every year you've got to adapt your approach this is an ever-changing field and part of my research in here shows me some very interesting information about how the nfl over the last few years has been trending and why and what we can do to capitalize on that that basically making because it's funny actually the other day somebody said to me something really profound they said yeah but i'm you know you're very lucky I said, well, maybe that's because I research harder than you. Yeah, you make you your know, own luck. You've got to make a... Yeah, there is luck, but you've got to make your own luck. And, and, and as we all know, the difference between being really good and not so good is, is actually very fine margins in this. Yeah. Very fine indeed. So we're going to hopefully continue to do what we do best, which is go on that edge and find those bargains. That's particularly your side. Yeah. Like I say, I think... We won't say we got everything right because we didn't, no, we but didn't. it's about being Definitely right not. more than, you're, ro- than yeah. you're wrong. And that's the same with betting, I think. If you're right more than you're wrong, then you're going to make money. Um, and in fantasy, if you draft well and avoid the v- avoid the right players and draft the right players all the way through, that gives you a big chance of uh, doing very well. And like I say, we, 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 we read all the comments and... Um, there's a few good po- points being made by people who watch. So you, I think, guys, you guys, basically. I think those people know that we, we listen to what you had and to we say. Do, yeah. And we started doing what you said. You know, if we felt it was a good piece of advice we've missed, we, we've been, okay, that's a great piece of information. And that happened look quite at. a lot. But... We took it on board and we started using it in our own drafting. You know, we thought, well, that's a good piece of advice. I think we've got to follow that. I mean, you have to be, I mean, pretty... You've got, to Arro- thick- you've got to be pretty arrogant not to listen to. You've got to be very thick-skinned in this people point. when they make good points. Very um, thick-skinned. You know, it, it's very easy, right? It's very easy to make lots of predictions. It's actually very hard to make a few because a few means that you are literally pinning your mast on those. And you'll notice this with me. I'll say to you, I don't like, and who I do like, and I'm really clear around it because that way, if it goes wrong, I'll have to be my first person to put my hand up and say, "Yeah, I got it wrong." But what I can definitely do is say this. I'm actually quite pleased to do it this way because 
once again, it's been an interestingly very good year. And personally, me and Al, we've been in some interesting leagues and done very well over them. But this year was a particularly strong year in results. And I think that says it all. No, know, exactly. I mean, says that... it all. So we must be doing something right. So we want you to share in that. And that's what this is going to be. So the rebrand is part of that to increase our potential reach, which is the whole point of doing it. We've been grinding for a few years now, so we're not, we've not just started. We're we've just making the name more relevant to what we're doing, really. And we'd like more of you to join. And we are going to run some really good competition. I mean that this year. It's going to be really seriously very, very good with the Listener League and a few other things that I plan I want to do personally. And... Uh, you know, it's not much more to say. We're going to try, as I say, keep the price right down. Something like about five pound UK, and maybe something like that. Works out about six and a half. So that include um, dynasty updates, looking at the rookies, looking at players all the way through. We may well have a patron thing as well that we set up. But again, these are all I nice art to have. So whether it actually comes off or not is another matter. But we we're going to at least start with some kind of guide. And for those that have been following the channel, will know that that rookie advice, that those dynasty kind of ideas, those kind of redraft things and where we bust on a player for a given year have proved very useful. So at the very least, it was... Yeah, and it's a way for you guys to support the channel if you wish so. I mean, if yeah. you, you know, it's, it's fine. If you don't, that's not a problem. But not a problem because we're still going to put out video content. We're still going to do what we like doing, which is grinding away and giving you as much information and advice as we can. Maybe not all of it, though. Some of it will be uh, yeah, exclusive has to, to be, the draft guy. It has to be, yeah. You have to reward the people that... Uh, Follow it most. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Um, so, um, so that name again. We're going to be Fantasy Legion. Uh, we've got a new logo. Um, got this, some ideas. This channel will we'll be changing to that soon. Um, we're still part of the fan pub. Um, still a very big part of that, and uh, yeah, it's a community we. You'll love. see the logo on here. So give us your thoughts and feedbacks around the logo, whether you like it and or the not. name, the name, and, and the, the name, name. and also you know you will see us as we move more into the season. We'll we'll start having t-shirts and various backdrops that fit the logo more. And the, and the comment we get a lot, and this is something I love reading. Um, you know, we get quite a lot. Yeah, don't be ashamed if you're American. I know we're British, but it's fine. Um, that's why we love you the know, game. You know, I can't believe it. the advice is great, but you're British. It doesn't compute. That That's a comment we get a lot. It, it, it really fries people's brains. Yeah. Um, but you know we're sixty five percent American audience, so you're not you're not alone. It's nothing to be ashamed for. We don't know, mind. It's, it's just if you think it. we live in a thatched roof cottage, that's okay. That's yeah. fine. You know, if you think I thought this was rugby, great. That's okay. No rugby shite. It? Yeah, it is. Yeah, but American football much better. Oh, it's much more and, fun. And uh, that's why we we all love it. You know, and um, you know if you're still watching, thank you very much. We really appreciate it. Um, FantasyLegion.com will be up and ready very very soon there's a placeholder there you can see the logo there if you want to go and watch it yeah and um we look forward to interacting with you and uh, talking to you about football um throughout the coming weeks we will have videos coming out probably at a slower stage at this, this be slow to start yeah. and it will ramp up r remarkably quickly we will be going more live uh, particularly on on facebook and youtube when news breaks but this will come in the next few weeks not now we're still a little in off season that's understandable because we can't be an all year round podcast yet in time maybe well we kind of are but not we don't put a content out all year but yeah. we talk about it all year yeah we do yeah yeah. Um, and so does all the community to be fair yeah really okay I think we're rambling thank at you this point. we are so, but um, thanks for watching thanks very much for watching and supporting the channel really appreciate it um, and drop drop any comments you want to make on um on anything really, the season, the football, the rebrand, the name, any anything you like really. And we'll see Sean's on the next hat. One. You mean? Yeah. You well, it's an old, to... it's a very old Rams hat, but it's worn for a reason. It's a very old, old person as well. But thanks. You know, yeah. Well, you know, I'm drawing my pension soon, so I might as well. You know, I've got yeah. nothing to do. I might as well fill it with football. That's take, what that's and maybe you can take Sean's pension money off him in our listeners' league. So uh, yeah, well, you, you can know. try. If you Who like. doesn't like robbing old people? I yeah, mean, well, that's right. Who doesn't these days? Everybody does it. It's all part of it. Yeah. No, it's not one of those. Probably not a good slogan. No. We are going to get close to that Legion brand, and I do like the idea of, of the Legion. Legionnaires. Yeah, I kind of Legion. like that. Not a disease, no. of course, but, no. you know, something. Don't, yeah, Legionnaires disease, not another good slogan. That's not a good slogan. We'll leave you out the slogan, right? Thanks. Okay, I'll well, just go with the bold predictions. I think uh, we've wasted <laughs> enough talking absolute drivel. Um, and, uh, See you on the you next know, one. Thank you very much for watching. We really appreciate it.